right? How many isosceles triangles with integer sides, isosceles triangles are possible such that sum of the two sides is 12. Two sides add up to 12. So, if the sides were x, y and z, some two sides add up to 12, let us say x plus y equals 12, it is an isosceles triangle. So, two sides should be equal in length right? and all of these are integer values. Right? So, let us take one step back, isosceles triangles, two sides should be equal. The two possibilities here, we have the two equal sides adding up to 12 or one, two equal sides and an unequal side and equal plus unequal side is 12. There are two different possibilities. Right? So, we have two equal sides adding up to 12. So, it is 6, 6 and something else or two unequal sides adding up to 12. Let us say 2 and 10. The third side such that this becomes an isosceles triangle. Those are the two possibilities. Now, so, drill down on both. Two sides could be 12. Two unequal sides could be 12. Let us first start with two equal sides being 12. So, sides of the triangle, let it be 6, 6, x. Right. X, can, x has to be an integer. So, let us try values 6, 6, 1, 6, 6, 2, 6, 6, 3 and keep on going. 6, 6, 1, is that a triangle? What is the rule we are verifying for here? The only rule we need to worry about is sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third. Right. 6, 6 and 1, 6 plus 1 is greater than 6. This will work. Sum of any two sides has to be greater than the third or simplifying sum of the two shorter sides has to be greater than the longest side. That's practically the only thing that we need to verify. I don't have to verify 6 plus 6 greater than 1. Two shorter sides add them up compared to the longest side. 6, 6, 1 works. 6, 6, 2 works. 6, 6, 3 works. 6, 6, 6 will obviously work. 6, 6, 7 will work. 6, 6, 8 will work. Till what value? 6, 6, 100 is that a triangle? That's not possible. 6, 6, 12 will not be a triangle. So, till 6, 6, 11 will have triangles. So, 6, 6 and x, x can take values 1, 2, 3, all the way till 11. So, the sum of two equal sides were 12, we get 11 triangles. Now, let us go to sum of the two unequal sides being 12. Right? Sum of the two unequal sides being 12, the sides add up to 12. So, the unequal sides could be 1 and 11. 2 and 10, 3 and 9, 4 and 8, 5 and 7. We are talking integers here. Nothing, we cannot have anything apart from these. I am going to write these down. 1, 11, 2, 10, 3, 9, 4, 8, 5, 7. Right? Now, we know further there is an isosceles triangle. So, 1, 11 are two sides of the triangle. The third side could be 1 or it could be 1, 11, 11. Are both of these possible triangles? 1, 11, 11 is a triangle. Sum of 1 plus 11 is greater than 11. 1, 1, 11 is not a triangle. Likewise, 2, 2, 2, 10, 2, 2, 10, 10. This is a triangle. 2 plus 10 is less than 2 plus 2 is less than 10. This is not a triangle. 3, 9, 3, 3, 9, 9. This is not a triangle. 3 plus 3 is 6, less than 9. This is a triangle. 4, 8, 4, 4, 8, 8. This is not a triangle. 4 plus 4 is equal to 8, not greater than 8. Sum of two sides has to be strictly greater than the third side, not even equal to. So, of course, be a triangle. 5, 7, 5, 5, 7, 7. This will be a triangle and this will also be a triangle. 5 plus 5 is greater than 7. So, when the sides are unequal, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different triangles. So, when the sides were equal, we had 11 triangles. When two unequal sides add up to 12, we have 6 triangles. So, we can totally have 17 triangles that satisfy this condition. There are 17 different triangles that are isosceles with integer sides and sum of two sides of which add up to 12. And all conditions being satisfied, 17 different triangles are possible. Wonderful question because it involves a bunch of small things to keep in mind. Integer sides, isosceles triangle, sum of two sides should be greater than to, e equal to 12 and sum of any two sides should be greater than the third. All of these we keep track of and then try different combinations out.